2006 Nissan Quest. I think it's a DIY project gone wrong. We have a letter. And he writes. The van has been running fine, but had leaking valve cover gasket, spark plug tube seals. Since the spark plugs were original, I decided to replace the valve covers and plugs. Also, replace both cam position sensors. After getting everything put together, it is running rough with the check engine light on. Alternating from solid to flashing, it's definitely not running on all cylinders as it smells rich. My Bluetooth code reader only shows a P0300. So I tried the following. Uh, put all three original plugs back in the front head, no change. Remove the intake pieces again, check the coils and injector PJs. I'm not sure what the PJs are. Um, and I don't think coils and injectors wear pajamas, so it's something. Uh, all looked good, moved the new plugs and coils from the rear head, moved them to the front, installed. Saw the other new plugs in the front head, the rear head, reassembled, same issue, put the old cam sensors back in, no change. And then he says a few things that have happened along the way. So that's where we're at. I think he's uh, got some stuff mixed up. I did start it, it does run like poo. I started to look at it yesterday. Real quick, brought it in last night for the rain. I'll show you where I'm at with it and uh, show you what I think happened. So it does have just the PO300 stored in it. There is no misfire data in OEM information. If we go to OBD2, I'm sure we can find it there. I'm gonna show you what I've discovered. We'll take and uh, fire it up here. I don't wanna let it run too long with the misfire. It was pretty obvious that it was skipping on more than one cylinder. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come down to a cylinder balance test here. There we go. Started up, you can, I don't know if you guys can hear it on the video or not, but it is running pretty rough. So we're gonna go through and cut out each cylinder one at a time, see who's contributing, who's not. So we'll start on cylinder one. And there's absolutely no change there. So we're gonna exit out of here, go to cylinder two. Yeah, that one changed. Cylinder three. No change. Then we'll go to cylinder four. Obvious change. I'm gonna take and shut it off. We'll fill you in on a little secret. Doing number five and six also drops out. So, with that being said, we have cylinder three. That is, or cylinder one and three, okay? I know a lot of you might already have the old wheels turning right now. Uh, that's important to know, cylinder one and three. Let's go look at something here. I'll show you why it's important, or what the big clue is anyways. Let this baby get loaded up. <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to look at the cylinder layout. And like I said, I already looked at this yesterday, so it's already up in my little history here. Look who's next to each other. Number one, number three. So one, three, and five, unfortunately, are in the rear of the vehicle. All right, anybody know what's wrong yet? The other thing I did, yesterday as I looked up wiring diagram here for it to bring up the colors wire colors for the ignition coils because I suspect if anything happened the ignition coils got plugged in incorrectly and wouldn't you know it when I looked up the wiring diagram here I was able to get way in the back of the cowl with a mirror and I could see that one and three are mixed up went ahead removed the wiper cowl I was hoping to administer the classic reach around to get to the coil, but a little to my surprise, I don't even see the coil. <laughs> I know I was looking at it in a mirror yesterday. That little sucker is way down yonder. That one I can get to. So I'm gonna fiddle with this, see if I can do it. I'd rather not hold the intake if I don't have to. See if we can switch those around, fire it up before we put all the jiggly bits back on and make sure that we're right. Like I say, as long as my eyes weren't deceiving me, that's what happened. Easy mistake to make. 
six hours later. No, actually not that long. I do have the clothes unplugged. The number one is a real piss pot to get to. Uh, number three, not so bad. However, before I plug them in, I don't want to make the rookie mistake of doing it were wrong. So let's see here. We're going to have two wire colors that are the same in each coil, which is red and black. How convenient. And then we have a third wire for the igniter. We've got a blue with red and a yellow with orange. And the yellow with orange was plugged into the number three. And we come over here to the diagram. Number three is supposed to be blue with red. Number one is supposed to be yellow with red. Aha! So here's the problem. They were probably labeled at one point on that white tag. I don't know if that's a number one. But there's nothing there on that one. So we're going to get these switched around. I'll get it back together. Hook up the jiggly bits in the back. And fire this little guy up. There. I just washed my patties. Before we put it together, I hooked the ground wire to the ECM ground wire. I don't believe there's any reason we cannot start it. We can, let's see. Let's see on. So where's my keys, fella? Oh, here we go. Do, do, do. Oh, this thing's kind of fun. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> oh, schmoo. Of course, the money light's still on. At least it didn't fall out. Spark light. Gosh, let's see here. Let's go over to the old box. Let's grab this little fella. And let's see here. Where's my buttons? Let that load up. Oh, it's an easy mistake to make, folks. Go easy on the fella. Anyone could do it. Let's make sure number one and three are working now. Beautiful. Dunsky. Sweet, it's all back together, the wipers work, the money light's off, and a crisis was averted. Easy mistake to make. My suggestion would be, if you're doing some DIY stuff, which I encourage, uh, because you know you can save yourself some money, this was a, I would say, easy mistake, or a common mistake. Uh, what I would do is use that little cell phone of yours, before you start taking stuff apart, take a ton of pictures. Coil wires can easily be mixed up depending on how they're oriented, but in often times, wire harnesses will reach each other, uh, and coils always have the same connector. Otherwise, if they were all specific per cylinder, we when we had to get an ignition coil, we'd have to order like you know the number two ignition coil. You know, if the connectors were unique in nature. Same thing with injectors; uh, those are few of the connectors on the engine that can actually be switched. Uh, more often than not. The harnesses are too short to reach, but in some cases, like this one for example, they do reach. Unfortunately, uh, the fellow who owns this tore apart multiple times and, you know, made the same mistake over and over. Uh, but neither here nor there, it could have been a whole lot worse. In this case, it wasn't. So, I um, guess that's it. We're not exempt from making mistakes, myself included. I've done it plenty of times. Go down there in the comment box. Leave your mistakes that you've made. I've asked you to do that in other videos, and some of them, well, were pretty comical. So uh, leave that down there. While you're down there, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff. Just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.